Hi YouTube, I got to thank all the subscribers for subscribing because from leaving Muta Baruka's house till getting back to here now we've gained over 3,000 subscribers and it's only taken us five months to get a million views but thank you for that and for those who were complaining about not being able to purchase their t-shirts on the night because the t-shirts sold out like anybody's business on a level productions have done a reprint of those t-shirts where you can actually get those t-shirts from eBay Amazon and Hatman check the description link below where you can actually purchase those t-shirts online finally for those who bought tickets and were unable to get in because the event was so packed this one's for you. This is the official Duke Basie edit of Mutabaruka at the Caribou Centre in Brixton, London. I hope you like this one. I must end by saying a special thanks for Cerebral who made me and Mutabaruka the necklaces and for Culture Vibes who made me the clothes. So, this is the Duke Basie channel featuring Mutabaruka on YouTube. Mutabaruka. The Rastafari Elder. The cutting edge, the stepping razor, the Pan African warrior, the barefoot philosopher, Muta, 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 Oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to tell you if you don't know. If you don't know, I saw it work out. All right, sit please. <laughs> Greetings. Yeah. Oh, give thanks for inviting us in the freezer again. You know, we always love to come to this part of the world. Okay, let's see how it's going to work out with this microphone, you know. Okay, all right. Yes. We're glad to see the lovely people them. It's nice, wonderful. So you know it's Jamaica where I come from. And so much things happen and happening that we're going to deal with them in this thing. It's not the normal show where you usually go to. You understand? It's not even a show. <laughs> Believe you me. So first of all, we want to tell the people them who are sitting down to put on your seatbelt. Because the ride going rough. And if you know any ladies where I stand up too long and the man them are sit down too long, they can get up after a while and give the man them the woman them the seat. And you know them where they alternate it. Them kind of where they that's how we do it. Okay. They came. They came. In wooden ships, they came. On the west coast of Africa, they came. God, Senegal, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, they came. They came in wooden ships. But after 400 years, we survived the blood, sweat, tears, peace, and shit. They came in wooden ships. Across the watery grave, we survived. Freeman, Freeman, I sang songs of Freeman. My mother, chained to me, chained to them, I cried, I cried. Cried because they took my brother. My brother still sucking my mother's breast. My brother was fed to the sea. Oh, how I cried. My mother, they whipped, whipped her because she cried about them whipping my father. She the slave, he the slave. 
Then I would arise at sun nearly rise, working away my life. No name, no name, I knew no name. I the forgotten soul. Whip to live, whip because I lived, whip to death. They came. On wooden ships they came. Across the watery grave. On the west coast of Africa. But we survived. 400 years we survived. Through the blood, sweat, tears, peace and shit. We survived. My mother they whipped. Whipped her because she cried about them whipping my father. She the slave. He the slave. Then I would arise at sun nearly rise. Working away my life. No name. No name. I knew no name. I the forgotten soul. Whip to live. Whip because I lived. Whip to death. Today I sing songs. Redemption songs. Freeing mother. Freeing father. I sing songs to be free. Freeing I the slave. I the slave. <laughs> Give me this. Give me that. Give me back me everything you got. Give me my philosophy you carry to Greece. Thief, Homer, and Socrates. Give me my historical masterpiece. Give me back my name. Give me back my calendar. Give me my books, your teeth from Alexandra. Give me my queen like Cleopatra. Me no want to hear about Queen Victoria. Give me my language I know so well. You mix up English confusing or hell. Give me back my Matthew Pythagoras. Give me my symbols, your teeth from us. Give me me this. Give me me that. Give me back me everything you got. Give me me diamond. Give me me gold. Give me back me rock and roll. Give me me uranium, give me me coal, give me me reggae, give me me blues, give me me music that you confuse. No spiritual concept originated here. So who I praise, you shouldn't care. You say steal not, your teeth me land, sex not, you rape my mother, keep the Sabbath. Who work seven days a week, you build a nation from the sweat of my back. Now you want to come give me crack. Give me my herbs, let me make some tea. Give me back all my fruit tree. Give me the remedy that make blind see. Give me everything that you take from me. Give me me this, give me me that. Give me back me everything you got. Give me a space I can run my own life. Respect is due. The time is now. No more turn cheek. This time we now bow. <laughs> You ask me if I have ever been to prison. Been to prison? Your world of murderers and thieves of hatred and jealousy of death. And you ask me if I have ever been to prison? I answer, yes, I am still there trying to escape. <laughs> yes, so... It gets sticky in our channel. You know. Yeah, it gets sticky. We have two idiots around for the election. So them around for the, the thing. And it confusing black people you now because we are black people that take side. A wicked and wicked close thing. Black people that take side. You hear some people, you know, say, a private thing that are now. Where the real station named Galaxy? Yeah. I want to meet a little sister named Horacle. I want to meet her, trust me. Where the heart, she's not there. I want to meet her before me left, man. Eh? Anyway. <laughs> no, here we know. Me hear some people that take side and I say, oh, well, you know, you have to, the two of them is evil, but you have to deal with the lesser of the two. Which one of them is the lesser of the two? I don't know which one of them are the lesser of the two. Because one man I'm out and I shout, I'm trying to make America white again. But him attack. With them having their mind. But through him not so you know, refined. You know, we have a, anybody ever anybody has yes, no in a Jamaica them say you're a butto. Yeah. Donald Trump is a rich butto. 
So him don't have no refining thing. Him do. Him do. Him do. We are normal. Buto. Would I do? So him don't have no decorum. Him don't have no. You understand? Him just say where them where them have in their mind. And I go like it not in their mind. Now, Hillary now. Donald Trump attack. But you see Hillary Clinton. You see that the woman there. You see Gaddafi. Where we know say Gaddafi was on the cusp of changing certain things in Africa. And she just goes off whips and murder him. And you see now Libya have three different governments, a failed state. We can't forgive nobody for that. This state is Libya, where a country where you don't pay a light bill. It have the most PhD scholars. The man did have set up for move in Africa from the dollar and the euro for much fee money with gold where Africa have no fun and then get rid of a man like that just like that Muta Baruka. and then when we look now we see them go and go so bam Assad Assad never was not threat to them just like Saddam Hussein was not threat to them but because them is Jesus Christ's disciples, them going to save the earth from beasts like men. So what them do? Them start a war. Them start a war against the supposed tyrant. One man terror is the next man hero. And them never know who them supposed to arm, but anybody will come and say they are going to fight against Assad. Them arm them. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Therefore, when them look and see, say, you have a group of people named the rebels a fight against Assad. Them say, okay, make we arm the rebels. Not knowing that some of those rebels was part of the ISIL group. So them did the arm um, the ISIL and the gun turned upon them and now them said they have a fight against ISIL. The friend become the enemy even though they was enemy all the while. She sanctioned that under Obama and people are talking about black president. Me hear some man sing song when Obama become the first black person say, boy right now they're gonna paint the black white house black i'm mad they mad i'm mad they mad so what we are saying is that the woman have a history history and it sounds like she no races but when you listen to Obama, you know, say, she a racist. Because he's the mouthpiece of white America. Don't make it trick you. Obama do more for the LGBT group them than black people in America. We don't have no illusion about color. We don't understand color already. Paul Bogle said, black for black, color for color. Paul Bogle, one of the, 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 the national heroes of Jamaica. When he fight a Moran B, he said, watch a cleave to black. So we don't understand the concept of black. And we don't make that trick with. Because the guys them say, you know, say America kind of no have no thing I go on with the world and I could put a black man there to pacify the world and black people get pacified me or someone say well 
revolution done now. Can see there? We get where we want a black man in the White House. When Obama win, you some you some idiot people don't have Jamaica now. Yes, but now we're gonna get visa. <laughs> we are saying. Yes, you're one of them mad people, man. Obama. Bam. More Afghan women and children than Bush with them drone strike in Afghanistan and Pakistan and Yemen. You think that you will live in a little old island and in Caribbean, we don't know where I go out of the world. <laughs> eh? Yeah. And we didn't, you can't just imagine we never like Bush. But through Obama black now, we have got ease off. We don't have them things there. Because you are now. When them go to Mar when them go to Obama about Marcus Garvey, you hear Obama say, Obama say, no, not that you know. And furthermore, it gone too far, it will cost too much for pardon him. Right, yeah. yeah, Obama say that. So him no not that. I mean you're something clear that Jamaica and other them want to pardon Marcus Garvey. Pardon Marcus Garvey for what? Wem do? Forget pardon. Yeah. Well, no, not that. But pardon Marcus Garvey, what did he do to be pardoned for? When you are pardoned, it means that you have done something wrong and you ask for forgiveness. We're doing that. Like a politician, guys, I'm up and down. After Rasta did that talk about Marcus Garvey all the while, I'm burning spear, come and sing about Marcus Garvey, and I'm most everyone I'm sang them. We say all some big jacket and coat tie, both slave them now, I come talk about. Yes, we can pardon Marcus Garvey. You know, move and go with that. Exoneration. Right. Did you know that they lock up Marcus Garvey in a Jamaica, in a Spanish town prison, because him tell them, say so the judge them corrupt. Yeah. Yeah. And that him do you know? That's all him do. Him start to lick out against the judge them, so the judge them corrupt and them arrest him. And it's still deep on the books in a Jamaica. Say so Marcus Garvey did their prison. So them Lego 4,000, them wipe the slate clean in a Jamaica, a 4,000 ganja man when he's in a jail. Because them say now, them wake up now to the Rasta talk now, if you say, legalize it and I will advertise it. <laughs> but one man, Marcus Garvey, more important than Jesus Christ. Tell anybody to me say that. And we see a lot of children in here and the parents them is in here. I would suggest that each child in here should be reading the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. Because of 500 years, we have that, the next book there. The King James Virgin. Sound like a dub tune. <laughs> and my great grandmother read it. And she sit down on her veranda and still have blood pressure and heart attack and dead. <laughs> and for her mother, which is my granny, come read it. And she sit down on her veranda to and have diabetes and right is and dead. Two thousand years, they might promise you that. And a man said, Mota, a time Rasta talked about Eilis last year, no, you know, because you know, see him dead. Me said, but wait, you are that, them same dead in the 1975. Jesus Christ dead two thousand years ago. And you still are look for him. Rasta get persecuted. Yeah. No persecution Rasta get. And a whole heap of the things that Rasta did not say under the persecution I come to a reality, reality you now. Right. When Rasta did not tell them, say, look you now. We not eat nothing with face, you know. <laughs> we not eat nothing with can rot. Hey, if God did want your food, if God did want animal to be a fool, he would make them with, with leg for run from you, you know. <laughs> it's a terrible thing. Fear run down your food. <laughs> you know, 
supposed to run down your phone. And your food all a look for you with all a sad face. Like him I said, please don't kill me. Most people who eat meat would have never use a knife and kill the fowl or kill the goat or kill the cow themselves. Something intrinsically wrong. Because sometimes you look on a cow and I say, well, I may tell you, that's sin. Oh man, you use your skin and I make shoes. And them also eat it. You have some people call themselves the Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Hypocrite them. Because one of them leaders called me in Jamaica and I said, Mude, you know what's up here? Up to, hey, get up people who are interested in that. <laughs> get up people who are interested in the environment and you know, ecological imbalance and plastic backlog and do this and all that. You know, get up people who are that. And health food and all them stuff there. Get the people, get the people in a burger, whopper. You know see it. So, do man call me? Me can't hear. Say it's really a white Jamaican thing. Hey, Muda, um, we, <laughs> we're keeping a barbecue. I would like you to come and read some poems. I said, isn't this the Jamaican Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals? I'm keeping barbecue. What on a barbecue in tofu? And the woman really, I said, you know, I wasn't really thinking of it that way, you know. I said, all right, me now come on out and go read no poem. <laughs> but you can understand, Rasta got through this pain and pressure over the years. Because them say, a vegetarian we are work with. That time we not talk about no vegetarian, we say we are italics. We born vegetarian, you know. Yeah, because vegetarian, you know, about class of vegetarian, you know, they make it bureaucratic to be a vegetarian you have vegan and lacto <laughs> a, 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 a vegan vegetarian does not eat anything or wear anything from animals a lacto vegetarian eat chicken fish egg may i say wait fish you ever see fish agro pantry vegetarian come from the word vegetable you can't be a vegetarian lacto or vegan or whatever you want to call it diarrhea vegetarian or whatever you want to call it. and then i come tell me say no well i'm really a vegetarian but i still eat fish fish not grow up on tree but rasta go through the persecution for that because we have said no we don't have nothing with that we had go vegetarian so Rasta now come and I smoke them herbs. Most Rasta with me know the only thing Rasta with me just a come. The only thing me know Rasta got um, prison for a gancha and the nice beautiful Jamaican words. You know them words there? Oh, them so beautiful. Mwah. I love them, man. Oh gosh, man. Sometimes I pray to God and I say, God, what do your angry black people them here for? You understand? But can you imagine now them decriminalize ganja in Jamaica and legalize it in most states in America? And them know them and tell them, say, boy, right now you can't carry two ounces of ganja in Jamaica. I feel so good. I three times me go to jail for ganja, I don't smoke ganja, you know. Three times I go to jail for ganja, I never smoke ganja from me. But even though people are looking at the mood, you lie, you look at your eyes are red. I say, wait, maybe a pink eye I have. <laughs> so now Rasta, ganja, 4,000 people who did the, upon the list of, you know, deplorables. Because I'll meet the planet too. I go from a visa to Canada and I say, look, you know, you have to go down to the police thing to get a, a, a record. And I say, well, I don't have no record down there. CD me use for radio. <laughs> and the man laugh. The man are dead with laugh. You know, easy, you know. And I say, okay, now. Rasta now have the opportunity to smoke ganja and plant five root of ganja in a yard without any disturbance from police. Peter Tash, years ago, I tell them, say, 
legalize it and I will advertise it because it's good for black, black home, it's good for this, good for that. Nobody never listen to Rasta. And now we see them a plan ganja upon the university at the West Indies campus. Some boys is slaving at them jacket and tie and dig and we going to plant play ganja here. So now, but me I said, but look at that. The way the persecution was far. So now it come to all now the locks. Dirty head rasta. Who no head? When you put cow shit in on the head, that's why it's here. So cause black people never know say if you left your ear normal, it just grow like a tree, you know. Them see say something rasta put in on them ear. So we get labeled now dirty head and them start to trim rasta. Me stand up and see people. Me not talk about police now, you know. Me see people. Me not recall the artist's name. Grab my brethren and broke back and cut off him locks in the street. Because there was a time when Rasta couldn't walk on the street in a Jamaica, I have to take for the gully and gully bank. A easy, a whole power who say on Rasta easy now, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you that, you know. Because you see, when Rasta got through for making the thing reach us up, as some life and death things go on. I don't read the poem, them silly you now. I <laughs> just lead up to a poem, you understand? I swear to God, the introduction is longer than the poem, you understand? <laughs> but when you check it, we say, all gay guys now lax. I tell you. And I say, Rasta. No, no it's all right, brother. Yeah, that, that's the first time. Turning, I'm grave. Why? Well, that's how he said them time, but he can't say it now if he's alive. Because he did have all the gay lads. Who remember the gay lads? You think, you know, to them change him name to Psalms. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, we're not debating for that. You know what I say now? You broke me through that title of Richard. <laughs> you broke me through that title of We are talking about. Yeah, we are saying. Ah, some gay guys are last now, but here we're Rasta now. Serious Rasta, or Mr. Serious Rasta, I don't know. Which is really a weird thing. Because I remember, I said, we did have what they call Natty Congo. You remember that movie, all of them come? A whole heap of, a whole heap of white people go to Jamaica because Daniel Hartman, you know, the water, take off him, like, and go, take off him, thing and go so. And when you see the Natty Congo, they just go so. And they just do it slow motion. We didn't know about Natty Congo locks. It did dread locks because the people them get scared and them say, What a terrible looking ear. Them call it dread locks. No. We say, Rasta want to appease men and people. I want to say, Boy, you know, say it look too, it's not presentable. So what them do now? Them twist it. Twist it. Oh gosh, man. I mean, I said, but that wasn't the purpose of locks. And then you, then you see now them have something named Sister Locks, Brother Locks, Mama Locks, and Daddy Locks. And, and we're up now, you see, two of them are twist them ears so much, the ears start to recede from them forehead because them are dry so tight. And it'll go back and I'll go back and I'll go back. Oh, how it reached us all? Oh, it reaches up. But Rasta, the locks now, is a normal thing amongst black people. Normal. Everybody realizes that this is how black people are supposed to look. In them natural way. Locks. I mean, I don't care if you're Rasta or not, you know. But prefer your locks than you burn up your head. Yes. So Rasta win again. So Rasta did that say, Africa, we are work with you now. And people are saying, Africa, we are talking. You know, see, people are starving Africa. Black people are killing black people in Africa. Look how much tribal war and all them stuff in Africa. We are saying, what are you talking about? The worst wars that has ever been fought in the world is white people killing white people in World War I and World War II. The tribes of Europe fight against the tribes of Europe and slaughter millions of them own and you hear a little tribal war 
in Africa, black people buy into the team. And I, because you remember saying, you know, it's only Africa have tribes, you know, Europe have nations. Because tribe cannot take something, you know, backward and have no organized structure and things. But nation now is a nation, the nations of, of, of Europe. You know what I mean? Eh? Yet still, black people buy into the argument say no sir i mean i not with africa bang belly pick me bowl over there so this that there that's something i want to go to africa how oh, that possible no call me an african me a west indian me a jamaican trinidadian some people say me black because now that's supposed to absolve them from being African now when them say them black. <laughs> Every people upon earth is connected to a land. That's right. Land is the basis of power. Right. If you do have any land, you do have any power. Right. So, when you say you're black, which land? Name black land. When you say you are West Indian, you look like Maharaji <laughs> or Consequency. No. Yet still the man who say my Indian. The reason why you call him Indian is because you relate him to India. Even if you never go there yet. A whole heap of Indian born and you saw. And he never go to India yet. But you say, watch him. I'm going to the Indian man store go buy some cloth. <laughs> Same thing with the Chinese man. Why are you saying a China man? He never go to China yet. Because Chinese is related to a land name. China. Black people. They're on the level where if you say them is African, it's the worst thing you can tell them. I'm going to a bank and I'm say, what? I'm an African princess. I said, Muta, look at now. Don't bring no Rasta talk to me. You know. I said, nobody come in no Rasta talk, you know. I don't have the Rasta thing, I have a Jamaican. And I have to call her and say, I know the line is long, you know, but the people don't have to cuss me. Because they don't have some love talk. Here you know. He's a Jamaican by nationality. And that is why you have your passport. You are a national of Jamaica. You can go to Germany and marry a white man and become a German. But you can't change your race. That's why Marcus Garvey said, race first. Because no matter where you come from. Oh, you know the tune. Oh, you know the tune. So we are saying, oh, why is it that we feel so? Both our ancestral home and ancestral land. That you don't have to born in Africa to be an African. Because African born in a you. So no matter where you're there, and you try multicultural this and multicultural that. I mean, I fight against multicultural still, you know. You know, but we see what multicultural I do. Yeah, man. Uh, we see what happens. Blend up, blend up, blend up business. Yeah, blend up. Some things now, the blender when I work. It applies to you. And Rasta, the other day I tell you, say, Africa for Africans, just like when Marcus Gavis say, Africa for Africans, those are two women, those are broad. And people say, oh, foolish is not that. But now, we say, it's a thing now. Africa is in vogue. Africa is the last frontier. The Chinese, them dead. Eh? I go down on a plane the other day, on a, on a plane I go in Africa there, and a four hour with a plane black. I say, oh, that's possible. Really and truly. Because I go to Europe sometimes and I travel upon the plane black. But I don't expect to go to Africa and have four people upon the plane black. That means, you know, the white people them I find something in Africa where we all miss out upon. We all miss out upon a whole heap of things. Meanwhile, we there hope that the street of England pay with gold. And Queen Elizabeth dead quick. We, 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 it, it, it's like she not dead. She have some things in her book in her palace that she have mixed up and a conjure up. <laughs> you never read the book, the name. 
Demonology by King James the First. King James the First have a book named Demonology. You what I mean? King James the First write a book named Demonology. Anytime when you don't go Google it, I'm going to the books you go buy it. You see how warped in mind was. Well, all of them come right down. I'm the same warped mind. Trust me. So you see all now. For your bone, Queen Elizabeth. Eh? Born with Queen Elizabeth. She just in there blaze fire for Uno. I am the man you love to eat. I used to sit on the slums of Ghost Town and Trench Town, back a while. No clothes to hide my nakedness. Filth and mosquitoes smelling, biting 400 years of black flesh, scarred by whips and sticks. I am the man, locks entangled in your nightmares of medusas and gorgons, unkept religious belief that pierced the side of your Jesus in the sky. Your vinegar has turned to blood. Your water to mud. Crucifix choking on your life of neocolonialistic attitudes. Yes, I am the man that came in clouds of ganja smoke. Choking you to death, yet not killing you. My eyes seeing a black god. Casting doubts in your mind about your unexposed spiritual being. Black shadows casting clear pictures of an existence. Drowned by false concepts of reality. Black was beauty. Until I walked with my bare feet, touching your tarry pavement of sadistic heat. You would have accepted I, if only I came via Time magazines and Vogue. If only you were exposed to life beyond your middle class gate. Yes, I am the man you love to eat. Look, I am now your next door neighbor. So, we feel the pan Africa thing. Because people are saying they are not African because they are not born in Africa. I want to ask them one question if a cow born in a pig pen, what it means? There's no way a cow is born and he doesn't move. So, we want to recognize our Africanness first because that part of the process of liberation and flushing out your system because black people is traumatized we have to flush out the system and one of the ways is to flush out the system is to admit certain things that we never usually admit because we get a certain teaching that make we reject ourselves. Marcus Gavin said if you have no confidence in yourself you are twice defeated in the race of life. But with confidence, you have won even before you have started. Oh gosh, man. That sounds like a biblical thing. So, black people in a problem. Because the gunman outside of your yard I kill people. And him not coming out of your yard. But you bring things in your kitchen we are poisoning you every day in your kitchen one of the most sacred places in your house your kitchen and you are poisoning the picnic them most black people as me just I tell you we're not, we're not really into no vegetarian food no so they want yam and cook dachin and curry goat and anything else will look like it dead Kentucky, McDonald's, Burger King, all the things them that make you unhealthy. Because with a six set of people, young people, when me did young, everybody over 50 did whole. So you can't say, man, you know, me a dinosaur. <laughs> when me did young, Hungry people over 50 million a year with diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure, all that a thing. No, teenager, young people in their early 20s have the same sickness where old people used to have when they over 50. How is that possible? How is that possible? We are getting picked with them anything where they want. Well, it's sweet, 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 sweet. Hyper them up. 
Make them do things where they wouldn't want to usually do. Jump off a place where them feel say, oh, oh, them feel hype. Just, yeah. Broke up them foot. They said, don't jump off. Don't jump off. They say, hey, me hype. <laughs> you talk to them and them now listen to you. Them things never used to go on me a pick me. My mother said, stop. Me just done me done me want me ask her if, if you want me to do any other else thing with you know what <laughs> no pick when you say stop to pick them just catch me if you can you see the food I'm, I'm a whole heap of people who are dealing with Africa now and deal with the part the aspect of the thing because Rastafari come show me certain things where it's holistic it's not just some bond on Babylon it's build up your structure and me I say you see the food where we are eat, and the mothers them have to check that. We don't have to take a stack of it. If it's even starting from tonight, because it's only for carbohydrate we wanna eat. You see, in our olden days when old people used to eat carbohydrate and only for protein, them busy walk from here so go there so walk from there so go there so. You see, nowadays people now only for carbohydrate. Them still don't run at this from nine to five. And them depend on things like so. You know, say, if your children want to do something that is feasible in the future, let them become optician. Because there will be a lot of blind people about the place, like the world. You see, some people are. Me, I say, weird. Me can't remember life without cell phone. As a matter of fact, it would be ridiculous if I do have my cell phone. Every time I have to check my cell phone, I don't know why everybody have to check their cell phone. Oh, we never used to check them things there. We just wait till we reach home. Mr. <laughs> picnic in a hope garden, sit down, and have, have picnic. And none of them not talk to one another. <laughs> and you just send me the email over here, so. <laughs> you, get me, you get me, yet? I mean, really. How oh, them get you to do them things there? How oh, oh, we make technology a control way rather than we use technology at our advantage why have you monitor your little picnic to see if you might watch this I might watch that how it reach this all black people how them get you feel wear tear up jeans <laughs> eh When I was a child and I going out, me no see it enough, but my mother see it. She said, Look here, there's a little tear on the sponge. You cannot come out unless I sew it. Take it off, make a sew it. Nowadays, people go buy tear up clothes and tear it up more. Mrs. Some woman tear them clothes, go and clear up so that me I say, Weird. I mean, now. Uh, I did not when me look at me. I look. <laughs> me, I want Rasta man. I go out like me, no seat it all. I want. Cause, you know what me notice? Like, me, me work in a studio, you know, where them have a whole heap of artists who come in. I will put them little girl, girl artists come in there. And time them come in there, you know, them sit down so and lap them foot so. But you see, all the things shot. Them take up the, so, the, the, the coach pillar, the, the, the front, and put it so. And me just sit down so. And then I say, I want more to look upon me. Say, I your darkness, me want to look upon. You did that table with me, I look upon. You think me frightened? Oh, them get you to do that. Oh, them get black people for wear tear up clothes. Don't we have all the party tear up clothes that we never did want it? So, oh, no, it come a trend. It was trending. I look upon a rasta woman the other day and say, Your pants tear. Yeah, no, oh, that's what's trending. I say, No, oh, that's good. And that's how we reach. Oh, you know, see a plantation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, them get to fair walk up and down with plastic bottle of water. Like we're always thirsty. <laughs> like you have to carry your water, you know, because you're going to get thirsty on the way. <laughs> and they have the <laughs> you have the plastic bottle, you know. And you know they make they make a can to put the plastic bottle of water in and that you can't eat it by your side like a gun. 
You want your water, you know? Water. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, them get you for the day. No. Sometimes I sit on parties and I say, but wait. It's, it's like, we crazy, man. It's like, Michelin, but I didn't explain it because we can't see how black people reach that level there. Most African, like Pan Africanists, to me, I deal with them. Pan Africanists now. They are ball out Africa, 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 Africa. But they don't deal with the food part of the Africa thing. Because the same Pan African is just like the society for the prevention of cruelty to animals. They might eat up the same meat, 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 meat. A poison. Simple. Maybe if it wasn't poison then, but you see today. Eh? You see where you see where them are sell with now? Where we are consume, where we are using mouth as a funeral procession. I lead to the cemetery in your belly. Can you imagine how much dead animals you eat since you're born? Think about it. How much cows, how much goat, how much chicken. Them just eat up on your tribe around your soul. Some eat up on your dicks around your soul. You think the whole life come out? It make it become a part of your body. You are what you eat. Maybe. Maybe, because maybe if you eat enough tomato, you know, as you have tomato, you know, that's about <laughs> really and truly. How oh, we get away there? Because we always talk about fruits and vegetables in the Garden of Eden and all these things. And we left the Garden of Eden and make them twist around and turn around. And I go and say that's not part of the struggle. Eating is not part of the Eating is a part of the struggle. Because right now, black people are sick. Sick. Not just mentally sick, physically sick. We are going to doctor more than white people. Because when we go in at the health food store, I must say white people are going to see in there. Every time I come at them place, I know a man I want to carry me go. I say, Mota, you just come here, you want something to eat? I know a Jamaican, I say, watch, I know Jamaican food, you know. We are carrying me go to a Jamaican restaurant for. Because they have curry go. No, man, they have a can salfish, you know. I say, I know it's salfish. And banana, I say, I say, I know eat them things there. Left that to you, Sian Bowl. I can't really work it out. I mean, I do so much activity for work out. You have a coke and that shit, a bad and all them something. That's madness. Remember the cold supper shop we used to stop at? We could have eat anything. It was like granny cooking, corn dumpling, a ake, from big fat, matty, stew peas and rice. You used to really taste nice. Now our ice cream stand taking over the land. Junk food filling up the place. This is another disgrace. Junk food filling up the place. And now good food I got, got to waste. Strawberry ice cream. Raspberry ice cream. Them are berry way. You know see? Ice cream, ice cream, hot dog ice cream. Living the American dream. Junk food filling up the place. You know that sweet will rat your teeth. But it's only ice cream you're going to get to eat. Jukes on the corner, take in the scene. Puffing up your belly with ice cream. The scene get mean. Run your must, but your belly might bust. Gunshot clap. One of your friends drop. Flex out time. Leaving your ice cream behind. Junk food filling up the place. Follow fashion is the order of the day. Can't get no food. That is what them say. Miss Matty shop. Off remove, granny cooking out a groove. The this Jackie say announcing the opening of an ice cream stand in the parish of St. Anne. Next month is Westmoreland and another one in Clarendon. Watch out, Portland! Strawberry ice cream, raspberry ice cream. Them a berry way, you know, see. Yes, so so, all the people who them come to England, go to New York. Some of them young see them when I come up here. When I come up here, a man says, Some of them are going to Jamaica. I say, I don't know. What do you think? Murder? You know, I mean, politicians are trick people. Preachers still have promised people say, When they go to heaven, they will dead with them. So, tell me something. You know, say, I plan for come down for rebel salute, you know. I say, oh yeah, yeah man, Rebel Salute, nice to come, you know. Okay, Rebel Salute, gone. I come back up here and I'm still there. I <laughs> say, oh, you tell me say that come, the last time you better say I come to Rebel Salute. Why you want to see my papers never work out yet, you know? I <laughs> say, which papers? Because you know a whole heap of man up here and I have no passport. <laughs> yeah, man. 
me a informer. <laughs> a direct informer, you understand? So, them said, no, by Christmas, my, my past, my, my things are going to arrive. I said, okay. Like me care, I don't really care, but if I tell me, I'm a brethren. When New Year's come, I come up here, I'm still up here. I said, boy, you want to see? My wife just get pregnant, you know, I can't leave. I still not have no passport, you know, but I don't want to say that. Why may I say that? Because we get stuck in a place where we never want to get stuck in. And we never know say, that work out that way there. Because sometimes the other man grass look greener until you go over there you realize it's a pear bush. And it won't weed out. Worse than your yard. Sometimes it's better to suffer in your own country than go to a next man country and suffer. Yeah. Is that a one? And we are a suffering set of migrants, immigrants and all of them. Some our oh, four parents come from banana boat. No, everybody most 40% of the youth them in Jamaica want to go to America. Because them say no hope no in a Jamaica. And me I say, okay, me I have five against a man for one left Jamaica, you know. But when we go to New York, most of my brethren them are sell drugs. Most of them are sell drugs. I mean I talk about ganja neither. How that possible? Because I will man say more and go we're gonna make life better. You go to America and you have some 99 cent store. Black people love going to 99 cent store you now. And buy things when it work. You buy, you, you buy all a pack of pay, you know. You say, what? What doesn't pay for 99 cents? Yeah. How will you go over here? So? You have to put it near your stove. For melt the, the ink in there. Eh? I say, wait. Do I go on? Then, with the America, I'm bridging them because the first time you go to America, I'm frightened, you know. Yeah, because when I step out of the airport and look so, I'm looking, I can't see the sky. I had to see the sky since I come here, too, you know. <laughs> and they have some buildings that look like it's going to fall up by you, so. Because I'm not used to them tall buildings there. Three story, four story. You now we are going to have a ten story. But $100 story go up. I said, blow that square. I would have reached up there. They have something named elevator where you don't stand up in that saw. I you don't book. I just reach up there and say, okay. But I don't know how much people you have to go to New York yet. But New York is a scary ass place, you don't believe you. Because you drive, go, you drive, go. Because most Jamaican live at either Queens, Bronx, or Brooklyn. And my brethren them live at Brooklyn. All right. So you drive to Brooklyn now, you know. And you see this red brick place and dirty. And, and I say, but yeah, me know say Jamaica dirty, but me not expect to come on New York. New York, cause it's so weird that they call it two times. It's just it named New York. You never hear me say New York, New York. I mean, I say, oh gosh, man. You know, say so we have yard in a Jamaica. We have yard. How much people have yard? Yes, sir. As you come out of your house, you can't out on the street. You don't have no yard. Well, we have yard. You know, run up and down in the yard. Goat, cow, all cow too. Duck. When last you see a duck, the duck get where the duck get. <laughs> the, the duck get extinguished. <laughs> but you have all sort of things around the pond down in your yard, and you have house bottom. Who remember say house bottom the day of Jamaica? How many people that come from Jamaica? Yeah. What? Well, Uncle Ten? All right. Muta Baruka. You have house bottom at Jamaica, where you can go on and eat house bottom and play a dolly house. My first sexual experience was on the house bottom. <laughs> yes. You play Dalios and you come home drunk. And you go like you don't know where you do. Like Lot. Lot sex off him that to the mother go like him never know where I do. And I say, all right. Warm to the yard. We don't have no yard on your son. So when you go to New York, no, the man just step in. Because you know, so we walk with enough heavy luggage when we are going far in when we are come up. When we are come up with luggage, if you know, because everybody wants something. Entire come bring some roast bread food for me. I remember the time. I remember the, this, the tiled paper. Granny always carry tiled paper in the car. She not sure if any of the America. She said, no, Sam, I mean, I got like a news, newspaper. Them the day is done. You understand? So when she come up here now, and you look, and you see the place. 
As you step out in the road, step out off of the road, you know you're out. And me always wonder, why my brethren them always live upon the highest floor? And the elevator not working. And you have the two heavy luggage them. And you have a spiral staircase where you have to walk up there and it'll lick down. And you know why certain things mash up in there, you know, because some of the grease don't run out already upon the, the carousel where the thing has come out. But here the problem with them things, you know. Because the things are weird. How your brethren them live? Your things are weird, you know that. You, you stand up and say, oh, I had a room and, and 19. Yeah, 19, them live, man. All right. Sometimes them don't nearly think good, you know, the six turn round. It turn round, right? It's 16. <laughs> yeah, so weird. Okay, all right. Them host, you know, it's not like Jamaica, you know. When a man goes up, you just open the door and say, wait, are you that? Come now. Them place, you know, you go so. I would that. You hear a man outside say, I'm me, man. And the other say, me who? A Jamaican Latina. We're unique. We don't identify ourselves by name, you know. We say, I'm me, man. And it's not done, you know, because here it will go now. You see, through the doors here, it have a little peep hole, so. So the man inside have a peep through the wall. And you never see the face, you know, but you still can't recognize it because your face is started. So when you're looking at it now, and you still have say, wait. You know, you may ask you who that. And you say, a Tony man. You say, oh, a Tony, then why you never say so? You see, by the time you're ready for open the door, I appear thing clean, 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 like a jailhouse. How oh, them get to do that? How oh, them get to live in them condition there? So we are look better. How oh, them get to live in those conditions? And we just accept it like it's a normal way of life. And we know it's not normal. It's not normal. If you have clean, 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 clean. And you see the bridge in them? I joke them, I tell you now. So you see, when they open the door you now, and you have your two big luggage, you have to walk sideways to go into them bedroom because they have them what not, what was, what them, what who. Line up down the so and the fridge over there so and the sofa with them over and all these things they over there so and them come now you sit down upon the bed and you're tired now you know you're gonna open the window now forget the ear and when you open the window and look this is another man bedroom you're looking at because you don't remember it says 10 floor up because when you look down everything look fine and when you look over the man bed you see my go with them thing you feel embarrassed oh them get to live that way there because we never used to live that way there we didn't have space Space, you remember when toilet used to outside and bathroom outside? Now the toilet beside the bedroom and the kitchen. So when you cook your chicken, your feet said touch. I don't realize that somebody just used the toilet. <laughs> we don't remember them thing there. Toilet was outside. You want to use toilet? If rain or fire, you take umbrella, go out there. And you take one towel and draw, and you, draw, and you go out there. You want to be, you go over the bathroom, over there. So, no, everything just all in one. You don't know if it's the touch chicken smell, so, or it's because daddy just used the toilet. With the whole carbohydrate and protein food mix up. We were kings and queens living in land that was free and wild and animals are run up and down and you know space land land most wars that have been fought in the world was fought over land and it's still being fought over land land is the basis of power you can't say you're free and you don't own no land Three, four story building is not no land space because you can't plant nothing there, so that's why you have to go buy Kentucky because with them not have, you don't have no space to plant nothing, so you have to depend upon the man for feed you. And if a nation are depend for the next nation for feed them, it's that nation they control you because your mouth is part of that control. You can't say you liberate yourself. If the man where you liberate yourself from a feed you. The most fundamental thing to any human being is food. Even more than clothes. Because we know about wild running up and down. 
with just a little thing, pan way. And we don't feel no way when we say all women breast in Africa. Because we know say it's some unmarried women that and when them get married, they put on something else. Them have we know go like we are disguised breasts and I put something where you can't sit through. And still I see your breasts. A confusion. But we don't see it as confusion because we are so traumatized that we accept this thing as a normal thing. Johnny was a singer in a Jamaica. Say him want to make it in a America. So him check out the embassy and get a visa. Next day Johnny flying and here Jamaica. Now Johnny left him queen for a New York scene. Start to live the American dream. Johnny was starting to do quite well. Underestimated that the concrete hell. He meet a white thing. Sickly in a Brooklyn. Little more Johnny was free basing. Johnny looking better in a New York. End up sifting coke in a central park. Now Johnny out of work. He really get broke. He run out of luck. Poor Johnny. Now Johnny never want no ganja for puff. Cause him says smoking wasn't enough. So him start check out 42nd Street. Where all the junkheads meet to cheat. Johnny looking better in a New York. End up sifting coke in a central park. Now Johnny out of work. He really get broke. He run out of luck. Poor Johnny. Now man for man wasn't really Johnny Bag, but still yet he may not become a fag, trying to act cool, playing the fool, in a man atten, Johnny get rotten, Johnny looking better in a New York, end up sifting coke in a central park, now Johnny out of work, him really get broke, him run out of luck, poor Johnny. It was a cold winter night, the moon never light, and Brooklyn Bridge was a crowd, heard the voices saying aloud, Another one lose him sanity, give away him pride and dignity, trying to act cool, playing the fool. The system, the system, the system is a fraud. I said the system, the system, the system is a graveyard. And if you walk down town at night, you feel for fuss and fight. But if you walk uptown, the people them frown, the system is a fraud. Some of them reach half a tree. Them start to fret already. What a day when the pendulum swing. What a day when the well run dry. And the children ask you why. And the people them a ball and sit and just a call is either you do or die. I said the system. The system, the system, the system is a fraud. And you listen to the news and you get confused and you watch TV, the same thing. What a day when the pendulum swing. What a day when the well run dry. And the children ask you why. And the pit and the mitt and we are living it and the game is the same. Who is to blame? The system. The system, the system is a fraud. I said the system, the system, the system is a grave. Muta Baruka. I want to feel a battery over there, you know, you know. Oh, you know. All right. Yes. So, we reach a point now where we look at this idea of black. Because most people love to them are black because it absorbs them from saying them are African. So, me, not, me love my grandmother them, you know. Me love grandmothers, but a grandmother's put in this mindset, you know, about black ugly, you know. You're black and ugly like what? You don't matter bring no money now with black and ugly like your papa, you know. If you make your picnic barn with them like a damn paper pop green. But why you bring somebody in there with a nice ear, meaning straight? So we hear some woman have ble against bleach on woman, you know, and I say, well, bleach people, no, sir, bleach people don't know themselves. Yet the same woman, they talk about bleach, them take a comb and rub up some chemical and they may not go, tsh, 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 and fry them, you may say, they were the difference. Because you try to change how you look as a black person. Yeah. Same like, say them a bleach, they may try to change how them look as a black person. But grandmothers always have this thing about black. You're black and ugly. My grandmother used to have a picture of Jesus Christ. Because every Jamaican house have a picture. This guy will look like him come from Los Angeles. <laughs> in out of the 60s. 
hippie. You know them hippie? And them all have a picture in stage, so. And the art in the chest, so. Outside, too, you know, outside in the chest, you know, in the chest. <laughs> and then they have a picture of Queen Elizabeth. Oh, gosh, man. Who remember? Oh, who was the fire? You say, you say, every fire you say, Queen Elizabeth here. So watch yourself. <laughs> so we have a picture of Queen Elizabeth. We have a picture of Queen Elizabeth. And it, it feels good. It feels good. Believe you me. All right. Yes. There. Black is the epitome of everything that is bad and evil. Who create them thinking there? Because look here now. Them tell you, say, we are West Indian, you know. Columbus make a mistake, you know. He wanted to go to India by traveling west. He never know what goes around, come around. And he end up in a place named Espanola. And he see the people there. When he look in his book, he say, I saw Indian looking at them people and them Indian. Them was not Indian. Them never come from India. Now we who go there as African people make Columbus mistake in print pan we and say since him did know him they are India and him they ended up travel west logically it must be the west of India thus the West Indies oh we become West Indians Columbus make a big mistake so when we look upon the idea of black and we say we're black and them say everything black bad and the opposite of black is white. But them call themselves white. Kind of we call ourselves black. And them say we're black. You know, we say, all right, if we don't say we're black, we're going to say we're black too. And put some positivity upon black. Because we know in Egypt and all these places, black wasn't a funeral thing. The high priest, them always wear black. If you go to Ethiopia, you see that. The, the, the big high priest, them, you know, the pious man, them, them just dressing at them black. You understand? So black wasn't like a disgrace. But we, we cuss each other about black. Still, still do it. Them do a test with children in America. And the black children, them, them put some dolly down there. And every one of the black people, them take up the white dolly. And when them ask them why them take it out, them say because the other one them look like them ugly. Me the actor man in a one little school. I ask the people them to draw a picture of Jesus, and them draw the exact picture when the youth them in a Saint Elizabeth in a magazine draw some black youth in a magazine. I see them picture them draw white. And if you be true for yourself. If most one shut them eye right, just so no one think about that image of Jesus. It's a white man come up in your thinking. Oh, them are black people. I think say a white man I gonna save them from the white man oppression. And them afraid for evil mention or utter something against that image. Because we grew up in our society where we say, look here, it's Jesus that. Me remember me a picnic and every Easter them used to go at, you, you go at, at theater and them always show some you know Ten Commandments and the greatest story about Paul and Ben or and all them something there and me and my granny sit down in a Carib theater and we are watch the greatest story of Paul and when them see, when she see them put Jesus on the cross and start kneeling she say Lord God Jesus Christ look what them are doing I'm like, yeah, Mister Mister I get embarrassed you know me I say granny it's, it's, it's a picture. You know? No, 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 no. And my granny really a really hardcore woman to in a market. She said, no, 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 Lord, God, Jesus. Them have we a we. Them have we a we. Oh, 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 them do that. After we know what we know now, or oh, we continue. I do the same thing the same way all the while and expect to get a different result. You know, she so said, we're traumatized. Oh, black people, stand up and make a man and tell you, say, when you're dead, as long as you wash in the blood of the lamb, you will go to a place more nicer than the earth where you depend. You have some colored man who will make some man say, look here now, if you tie on a bump on you and blow up some people, 
when you go to heaven, you will get 72 virgin. No, that one that me like. Because if me did ever know, so one of them man there did actually go up there and see the 72 virgin. And he can come back, come to me and say, you know, when I was up there and I got 72 virgin, I said, tie on the bump on me. Let me get to go up there. How oh, them get to do that? How oh, them get to if you do that? How oh, them get to if you really believe, say, a man and a woman in a garden and God tell them, say, you see that American apple tree over there? <laughs> because if you shut your eye and think on the tree, it's an American apple, you see. American apple come in three different colors, red, gold, and green. But them always have the image of a red apple. And to be truthful to yourself, when you think on that story, it's a nice round. No, you think on Ethiopia apple? Okay, that is nice, beautiful. <laughs> but most of it, use the exception to the rule. Most of it think on the American apple. And them get to it. Say so you have two people. Only two people on earth. Nobody else not there. Even though them have angels a blow a trumpet. No, I know who make trumpet in heaven. You never see an angel with a saxophone yet. Or a drum machine or something like that. They always have trumpet. I say, wait, they might manufacture trumpet in heaven or something. Anyway. After God tell him, say, don't eat the apple. I don't know is where the man did that though. Because you know the man, God said, must look after the garden. So you know it's a black man that. Because he's a gardener. Right? God now go tell no white man to go look after no garden. He tell the black man, say, all right, you want know, look after the garden. All right? So he look after the garden. The woman now, a walk in the garden, and a snake. At what point in history did snake talk? But you know, say, it's a white woman that. Because no black woman is going to stand up in front and a snake and talk to it. <laughs> she going to go run. Snake attack, gone, me gone. You understand? So you know, that's the first multiracial marriage. The gardener married to this little white woman. You understand? So the snake attack to the woman, no one. The snake tell her, say, Look here, the day when you eat this fruit, God knows you're going to be like him, no good and evil. And she said, boy, you want to say, Father, you tell me not to eat it. And I said, you don't want to be like God, no good and evil. So she just eat the apple and take one of them and carry it her husband now. And her husband goes up, bam, and taste it. He said, by the time I put my mouth, God, the Bible says so. Go look at it. God was walking in the cool of the garden. All of a sudden, God had foot in him. And know me said, God, it said, God was walking in the cool of the garden and said, Yo! Muta Baruka. Oh, me put the tree over there, sir. And tell you, no, if you eat, not now, nah, fight. Because you're the garden of the place, you can't come eat, eat anything. You know the man, though? The man turned to him and said, She give me it, sir. <laughs> right away, you know, say, the thing get twisted now. Because woman has become something. To be despised. Every religion oppress women. Every one of them. So God looked at the woman and said, Curses shall you be. In childbearing you shall have pain. And the snake shall lose your eel. The woman now get a serious problem. Let's know. He even turn to the man and say, And you, by the sweat of your brow, you shall eat bread. <laughs> but bread never exists them time there. <laughs> I will make up them story there. Because Adam most of the other man say, Huh? What, what you mean by that? <laughs> bread? Father, what you talking about? Where do you bread? I don't have to go to school now. And bread? It's a thing that you use when you get wheat and you mash 
I have to go through all that story there. But God now decides, say, Cho, I don't want to know now when I get it now. I'm going to run out of the blouse and skirt. Yeah, yeah, no. I <laughs> get that next thing. And he said, You him say, you him tell him say, On the day, check me if I have no sense, I, I, I'm just mad, me mad now. God said, On the day that you eat that fruit, you shall surely die. And Adam lived to 300 and odd years. <laughs> Be said, you know, me I talk when I read, you know, when they make me read, but through me never listen to the parson, I start to read it for myself. So I read from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22, and I go join 12 tribe. And a man in the name God said, If you want to understand the Bible, you must read one chapter a day from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22. But through me, fast, me start to read it more than one chapter. So me never take three and a half years to don't read it. So when me don't read it, now me go back and read it again. And me start to look at it and say, but wait, me never know them things in the Bible. Follow me now. Come me go to school. Cain and Abel is the first two picnic for Adam and Eve. Four people. Yeah. Four people. Cain kill Abel and then the Bible said and Cain went to the east of the garden and found himself a wife somebody have to explain that to me me is like a child me think like a child come I realize that they look at them ask some serious question where it can found all the parents now the parents say all right all right enough is enough go on go do your homework <laughs> through the yard at the picnic you understand so me come forward with them questions and they will pick me with a the ask. Me say, then tell me something. Where wife come from? Could it be that Adam was going on with something? Because you and know, all. Remember I say, and the Bible say, and Adam was lonely, you know. And when when God, when Bible say God, Adam was lonely with God though. Him call the animal them for him name the animal them. What you talk about wife? A after is a after thought. That woman is an after thought. Him call the animal and him say, all right, you name cow, you name goat. I don't know what else Adam was doing with the animals. <laughs> because I don't know how Pitney reached at the east of the garden. That he and can't go around there, so. And then Noah, Adam lived 300 and odd years after that incident. Somebody have to explain them thing to me now. I ask theologian, Pantapa theologian, Pantapa Muta. You must not question the word of God. <laughs> That's what them keep saying. And I say, but me get intelligence. And I break away. I break the chain from half of my brains. Because there was a time when the chain is on my foot. And I take chisel and lick it off. Most of us don't have chain for the neck in our brains. And we don't have no chisel for lick it off. Yet still people come as chisel. To free you and liberate your mind. And you ignore them. I saw it go. So I have another story in there with Kaita Gwan on the line, you know. And I start to love the story them, you know. Come start and rub the thing them and say, Chow, that's the only come to dump to Satan Noah, come to dump to that great father. Them have a man named Noah. Serious man that, you know. Yeah, man, come and walk up and all over the place and they Noah. Why them always have God attack in a baritone voice? You know, it's like, why God could have said, no, you know, like, <laughs> really? Baritone voice, God attack in a baritone voice. No, uh, no. Uh. Because we really believe, say, there's a voice out there now, attack. So you have to look for the voice. If you look for the voice, you're not going to find nothing. You have to look for a person. That's why God, if you want to call him God, manifests himself. In human beings and you have to respect all human beings because you don't know which one of them is God be careful of how you entertain angels or men because you might entertain an angel unaware not the Bible not telling that hallelujah man you mean hallelujah man you don't mean a church with them man. church with them you never know that come at church don't it you never know that come at church eh but when you take it now all right Mass murder, go on now. Mass murder. I don't like your feedback, this. Eh? 
Maybe that will give me cancer when I'm done too. <laughs> it's too bright, trust her. Anyway. All right. I bet you a man with a camera and make you have them too light there. A BC though. A BC like them. <laughs> All right. So, this is how it goes now because I think no one we think, you know. The whole of we are thinking together. Because when you come here, you hear me out of a rock at all. So, so, at least we are going to know. We are not playing no music behind me. You understand? All right, listen to me now. Noah have three sons and four women there you now. And God said, Noah, the wickedness of men is so terrible that I'm going to go to God murder the whole of them. <laughs> it's, it's genocide. It's genocide. I mean, it sounds funny when I say murder, because I'm not laugh, but it's murder. Yeah. All right. So I'm saying, you're going to build a boat. The Bible tells you how long the boat is, you know. In our term, it's 500 foot. Go read it. Translate the cubic them into feet. And you see it, Mark. It's 500 foot boat with one window and one door when never open for months. And you are telling me, say, God in the alley, omnipresent, omniscient, benevolent now. I go wipe out every living thing upon the earth. Pregnant to man, father, son, little picnic, wipe them all out and leave eight people in the ark. With some animal. Where she took the place where you can't move the shit because the place lock up. Giraffe in there where they might have, have him next, so. The whole time. The elephant, they must still by the rabbit, they might breed, breed up in the ark. Them can't take out nothing because it lock up. But you're the weird part of the story now. When them come out of the heart. God tell them, say, Noah, take the best of the animals them and offer them as a living sacrifice to the Lord. Because the Lord loved the scent of dead flesh. Go read it at the Bible and, and come back and tell me. But when you come back, me gone on my yard. <laughs> you understand? So you never know, get me if you do nothing to me. When me go show you something where you never did that see all the while. And me I say, then you say you save all of them animals there for come tell me you now, say so you go barbecue them and get the lad. I thought it was a society for prevention of cruelty to animals person. And the story get worse. You have a man named Lot. I go down, I go down, I like, poor me, I go read it up. This, be, be quiet. Be, 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 nah, you can't make night, but take your time with me. We have all night. Yeah. Oh, police, I'm going to the place. I thought them do a Jamaica too, you know. But we just go on until them come. <laughs> you know all right. Here we go. We're not going to a poetry book here yet, you know. We're not starting to read the poetry from that book here yet, you know. All right. So, so here we go. Lot. Two men come visit Lot in our twin city, Sodom and Gomorrah. Whenever you're not what Gomorrah, what kind of people used to live in Gomorrah? You know, what kind of people used to live in Sodom? But we don't know what kind of people is that twin city. So you assume that everybody who live in the two city, them twin up. <laughs> Understand? So here we go. When you look upon the story, some man come visit Lot and say, Lot, left the city, I know. Come here, let's try this thing, I know. Yes? The man, them have Saddam come long in the yard. So, so let me say, two men in them say, Hey, Lot. <laughs> we want you to bring the men them out here, you know. <laughs> Let we do what we want to do with them. Lord say, no. Here where you go do. I have two daughters in there. It's a father. This, you know? It's gang rape. You want the man them gang rape him daughter, you know. And God I talk to Lord, you know. Think about that for a moment. God I talk to Lord. Send two angels in the yard. 
Lot now, some guys, go, come here guys, come out there and say, look here. That and that and that. And him say, no, look here now. You see me two daughter them? One did win Miss World. And one was in Trump Miss Universe contest. Take the two of them. Look here now. We're doing nothing with no woman, you know. <laughs> we still want you to bring the men them out here. Mutabaruka. The man them say, you are now. Come, take your wife and your, your two daughters them and make will come out of this place, sir. Come here, destroy it quick. No. Them are walk, come out of the city, you know, you know. The woman, Again. the woman who feel pain and compassion in her heart and soul for human being, I come out of the city and she hear the scream of the people them behind her, and the hollow of the people them behind her, and she goes so, and she never turn around back. That's why Rasta tell them I'm salt, you know. <laughs> Call them the way I eat. Lot. Wife. <laughs> okay, I wipe my mouth when I say that. All right. But the story gets worse. Because now when they come out of the city, Lot go in our cave. Why is it that all of the people them who believe in our God is drunkard? It makes me feel like I want to drink some rum. And become holy. Get the spirit in me. Because check all of them. All of them. If you check Samson. Lot. I mean, you can't go down the line. And you find some them love drink. And get drunk. So Lot is a drunk and, and him drink and get drunk. I'll know I get drunk. And him, and him, 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 him young son will look. I don't know. Watch out. I can't remember that all them things there. Because people go that stole me in here. But. <laughs> you know, no, because oh 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 come oh come oh come um Noah oh come oh come Noah have three sons and you are telling me say all the son though was to go in and see because I'm drunk you know and him lay down there you know you are telling me say God I go put a curse on a nation of people because the young son walk going and see him father naked. I'm more than that. Because I can't believe that God's a terrible man. I'm more than that. Him walk out. And the other elders on them come in there and cover them father. And God said, Cursed shall be Canaan, which is the son of Am. And the Jew them, so called, have that to say, Black people curse. This is the curse of Am. But them say, No. Anybody with blemish cannot enter the tabernacle of the Lord. Even people with flat nose. You never see that in the Bible yet? Okay. You see, no, I'm saying you go read the Bible. It said, you know, I read it. It said that flat nosed people can't enter into the tabernacle of the Lord. And now me, oh, you read it, Mr. Regin. Neither blind people nor one foot people. Now, woman who has a period and all them something there. Oh, what kind of thing that? Oh, we, oh, we just yam up them something like that. And we look down upon a black woman. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. You ever see a black man I walk with a black woman? He move over this and she over this. So come on, now we don't walk up. <laughs> you yeah, ever see when I walk with a white woman? Yeah. Especially in a Germany. Oh gosh, man. When we go to Germany, I'm see some of my brethren them. Oh, I must say, people used to look down upon them. All women used to look down upon them. So them get a little white thing and, you know, them go to Europe. You know, they call them and push this trolley with a little baby in there. Something wrong. 
something wrong, brethren and sisters, that we get in a dot the mess. That lot, daughter, look upon her us, look upon her father and say to her younger daughter, look here. We do have no money now. Make we go into a father and bring children. And the elder daughter went into her father and got pregnant. And go back to the other daughter and say, look here. You now must go into our father and have children. And the younger daughter went in and have children for their father. In a my language, that is incest. But nobody paid for that crime in the book that was given to us by God that people want us to believe that we must question these things when we come 4,000 years after and realize say, there are certain things in those books that is for them time there we have our own reality right now black people have a serious problem with black people so if you have a so if, if you have a problem with black people, sometimes we don't have no problem with white people. Because you will forgive a white man quicker than a black man. Let him do certain things. And oh me see man, black man treat black woman. Oh that possible. Three monkeys sat on a coconut tree. Discussing things as they are said to be. Said one to the other. Now listen you two. There's a certain rumor that can't be true. That man descended our noble race. This very idea is a big disgrace. No monkey ever deserted his wife. Nor a baby and ruined her life. And you never known a mother monk. To leave her baby causing it to bunk. Nor pass them on one to the other. Till they scarcely knew who was their mother. Yeah. The monkey speaks his mind. Now here's the next thing you will never see. A monkey building a fence around a coconut tree. Forbidding all of the monkeys to come and taste. This very idea is a big disgrace. Now if I build a fence around a tree. Starvation will cause you to steal from me. Yeah. The monkey speaks his mind. Now here's the next thing a monkey won't do. Go out at night and get in a brew. No use a gun, a club, or a knife to take another monkey's life. Yes, man descended the worthless bum. But my God, brothers, from monkey he did not come. <laughs> The police them come yet. <laughs> the police them are come yet. Ah, okay. All right, we're gonna read two more poems. Can't take all hours still. <laughs> Believe you'll be. Sometimes the poem them short and the introduction long. All right. How is it possible that you have certain things in your head where you never learn in a school? But it's really school you get it from. I never get homework for go study it yet. Like umpty dumpty sat on a wall, umpty dumpty the great fan. Nobody ever teach you that. Nobody ever say, Now, children, I want you to go home and study. Jack and Jill went up there. Every picnic know it automatically. How that possible? We have nothing about Africa. When we hear about brother and say, No, it's a brother and say a crook. A genal. But we hear about there was an old woman who lived in her shoes. And we accept these things as part of our reality. How oh, that thing become a part of our reality to the point where we keep regurgitating it over and over in history that it become a part of our life. And we don't understand why the man did write it. Because we hear about Humpty Dumpty, we are thinking about two eggs. And it drop off at the wall. And not now until the wall now because then put it up and the thing again and it drop off again. And we keep putting it up. Thousands of years it has put up a wall and a drop off. It's like Santa. We have a spin pan in the nursery rhyme then. First time Jack and Jill used to run up the hill every day. Now them get pipe and water rate increase. Every day they would have reincarnate umpty dumpty for fall off the wall. 
Little boy blue who love to blow him on to the sheep in the middle. Little boy blue grew up now and the sheep them get curried in a little cold supper shop down the street. <laughs> you remember when man did a panda for go moon, yet them did have the cat play fickle so that the cow could have jump over it every full moon. And light bill increase. Then there was a old, little old woman who never went to no family planning clinic. She used to live somewhere down a back of wall in our left foot shoes. Back of wall turned to Valley Yard now and she moved. Jack Spratt who couldn't stand fat. Him start eat it now, but him son turned vegetarian cause meat scarce. <laughs> little boy peep who lost her sheep went out to look for them and found instead a politician and is now living on Beverly Hills. Mary, you know her. She had a white lamb. Well, she saw Bo Peep and decided she would give her lamb to Cinderella Godmother for change him color to black before midday. And society grow. Little Jack, remember him? He used to sit down at the corner of King Street and Barrett Street. Then I then put him thumb in her mouth and vomit. While Tom Tom was stealing a woman's wig. Him fall in a jack vomit and broke him friggin' neck. <laughs> Tom Tom father, the Pied Piper, turned pro now and stopped blow to rats. But realized that no rat never follow him down the river. And him dead cause the clock strike 1.30. And no mouse never run down. Tick, tock, tick. First time man used to love them. But this is not the time for them. Cause them the day is done and we're right. So this is. A poem we write. Well, we're gonna read it and know everybody introduce it. Great Britain, Great Britain, you can't see that your domination is history. Your greatness cease, your colonies decrease. The seed you sow get rotten. Now you have to start use them button in a London, in a Birmingham, in a Brixton. Your subject now take no more. This year cut. No, have no cure for sure. They might go broke down your door. The sound gone out, riots all about. Now your subjects' time has come. No more slaves in the sun. You open old cult, now the cult bus. And no blood a run, a pus. Her Majesty's subjects on the rampage. Them broke out of them cage. Now you can't hide. Them already inside. Now you call for peace and calm. But all is this is the youth them want. You open old cut. Now you cut bus. And no blood a run. A pus. Prime ministers beware. Your subjects no care. Jolly old England in a mess. Bobby and bicycles put to test. How many youths you think you can arrest? In a Birmingham. In a Brixton. In a London. Things get rough. Youths now bluff. Better get some more and cough. Two decades is a very long time. Banana boat and the decline. Your cup of tea is getting cold. Your greatness is getting old. No more stories to be told. Yes, the youth them come of age. Now them turn in a new page. You open old cut. Now the cut boss. And no blood are run. A pus. Big man, bolt your door. Youths in England are going to riot some more. We have this poor man. I have to watch this man, you know. <laughs> All right. One more. All right. All right. We're going to do one more. You think it's a radio thing? It's a best by request. All right. This poem shall speak of the wretched sea that washed ships to these shores. Of mothers crying for their young swallowed up by the sea. This poem shall say nothing new. This poem shall speak of time, time unlimited, time undefined. This poem shall call names, names like Lomumba, Kenyatta, Nkuma, Hannibal, Akneton, Malcolm, Garvey, Haile Selassie. This poem is vexed about apartheid, racism, fascism, the Ku Klux Klan, riots in Brixton, Atlanta, Jim Jones. This poem is revolting against first world, second world, third world, division, man-made decision. 
This poem is like all the rest. This poem will not be amongst great literary works, will not be recited by poetry enthusiasts. It will not be quoted by politicians nor men of religion. This poem is knives, bombs, guns, blood, fire, blazing for freedom. Yes, this poem is a drum, a shanty, mama, Ibo, Yoruba, Nayabingi warriors, Uhuru, 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 Namibia, Uhuru, Sweto, Uhuru, Africa. This poem will not change things. This poem needs to be changed. This poem is a rebirth of a people, arising, awakening, understanding. This poem speak, is speaking, have spoken. This poem shall continue even when poets have stopped writing. This poem shall survive you, me, linger in history, in your mind, in time, forever. This poem is time, only time will tell. This poem is still not written. This poem has no poet. This poem is just a part of the story, his story, her story, our story, the story till untold. This poem is now ringing, talking, irritating, making you want to stop it. But this poem will not stop. This poem is long, cannot be short. This poem cannot be tamed, cannot be blamed. The story is still not told about this poem. This poem is old, new. This poem was copied from the Bible, your prayer book, Playboy magazines, the New York Times, Reader's Digest, the CIA files, the KGB files. This poem is no secret. This poem shall be called boring, stupid, senseless. This poem is watching you trying to make sense from this poem. This poem is messing up your brains, making you want to stop listening to this poem. But you shall not stop listening to this poem. You need to know what will be said next in this poem. This poem shall disappoint you because this poem is to be continued in your mind, in your mind, in your mind. Move to Baruka, kings and queens. Move to Baruka. Move to Baruka. Show love, show honor.